Hey guys, uh, it's Noah Kembo here and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how can you place uh, a background image in Java FX and FXML. So I will create, I will be using NetBeans, so let us create a new project and we will create some project under uh, a Java FX application. So you can just select the type of application you want. So uh, Java FX and we'll be using a CSS, uh, CSS to do this. So select Java FX and FXML, FXML application. Then next. So allow the, uh, the application to activate. Then uh, now let us call uh, this project uh, and give it a name. So I'll just call it uh, background. So that's it, and then finish. So uh, as usual, uh, this is a JavaFX and FXML application where you have the FXML file the controller class file and the main java class file it is a main java class file because it beholds or holds the the main method so right away let us expand uh, the package here and to the source package then expand this background so this is the package and the package is just like a folder you see in a, in, a, in your computer so we have uh, this fxml file so we will edit this fxml file and then open we want to open it in the scene builder so that now we can uh, edit and get some simple interface and then I'll show you how now we can just place uh, the background image. So once you do that now, uh, select this button and the label that are created by default and then let us delete it. Then select this uncapping, expand it, uh, uh, something like that and then here but uh, I'll just place some uh, a V box, so I'll just select a V box here, drag and drop it into the anchor pen, then right click it and fit it to the parent. And then after doing that again, uh, there's one thing again you'll be needing, and uh, that's uh, a text uh, to be to be like our topic. Then just drag uh, the text into the V box, and then uh, come to the properties here. And then uh, edit the property text and uh, let us give it some caption at some topic and I will say uh, background background application so something like that so and we can even decide to increase the font because uh, it is better if uh, it is bigger So I'll just select area, increase the font size, uh, something like that. Then I'll come back and select the VBOX, come back to the properties and set the alignment uh, to center, or center, top center. And after doing that now, uh, what if we, so now we want to give this application some background image? And uh, to do that, it's very simple. Select the anchor pen uh, and then here we'll give uh, we'll go back now to the NetBeans project and then we want to create some CSS. So first of all, uh, come to background, then new, then come to other. And then uh, in this category section, come to other again and then select here, you're looking for a cascading style sheet, that's CSS. And then next, type in the name of our CSS. So I'll just call it style and then finish. So as usual, we have uh, we, we, this is a comment. You can just delete this comment now. Let's type in now. We want first we create the CSS, uh, which has some class, and you always know the class uh, reference is always identified by the pointer. Now let us type in the name of the body, and I'll just call it uh, body BG. Now body BG, that is the class that uh, has the properties of the background image. And I'll type in some CSS here, and uh, I'll just call it uh, background image. So uh, this is how you now set using the CSS background. Now just select this background image, and then here you just put in the URL. Then into brackets, type in the location of your of your of your image now the the image should be in the source in the in the project in 
you cannot now now just select from outside the the project like in any directory so we will come first to the local bc so i'll come here uh, and then i'll just look for some images and then to do that let us just select some images i have uh, here uh, what if i'll select some image here so uh, just select some image here you can just select image, any image uh, that you have in your application. So I have a number of images here. So let me just copy image number three here. And we want to set this image number three. Uh, just copy it. Uh, come to the package background and then paste it here. You can just create uh, another package that will be placing some images. Now it's called 3.jpg. So let us type in now uh, the location of the image. So I just type in the location. Uh, first, you type uh, the package. Uh, you just type in the path. So first of all, uh, the package name, background. Then now type in the image. So once you do that, now uh, I think you are good to go. Come back to the scene builder here, and then now uh, select this and come to the style sheets here. And then now double click, uh, no, just click the style sheets, and then a pop up window will appear where we'll be locating now the CSS uh, project. So our project uh, is in documents, the NetBeans project. And then you can remember we named background, then at source, then background, and then here we have our CSS. And then now you can give this anchor pen, you can decide now which body, or is the VBOX or the anchor pen which you want it to behold the class and you can just select this class here or just type in body bg and you can save it and uh, when you've done that now you're good to go uh, now come here build your application so when you build your application now it creates the jr file the java executable file now the build when the build is successful we'll be running it so first of all, now let us run this application. And you can see the image is there, uh, the background image. But uh, you can see the image was cropped and that the image did not even decide to the size of the, of, the, of the image unless you maximize it. But what if uh, you want this image to be fit so here you just come and type in uh, the fx property another fx property background property then just select background size this one background size then will be typing 100 percent then some space then 100 percent meaning the width and the height of the image should be 100 percent according to the size of the the container of the body that holds it so build the application again, then run, and you can see now it fits even when you have not just expanded the application. Everything just fits, everything uh, is intact. So uh, that was it about uh, background image. And now you can just place anything you want. So you can just place beautiful applications. Uh, I just decided to select uh, a Lika background image. Uh, so I uh, hope you learned something how to mm, put background images in Java, Java FX and FXML. So you can use this uh, style uh, project or the CSS uh, format in any, in any Java FX application. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, hope you learned something. And, uh, let's meet in the next.